What's up everybody, my name is Louis Sam. I'm a mechanical engineer and this video I want to try and answer that question. Is engineering worth it? In fact, I'll, I'll answer it right now. Are you ready? It depends. <laughs> that is kind of the honest answer. It depends on what your, what, I guess what your expectations were and why you got into engineering in the first place. Now in my opinion, it is worth it. But first I want to define what deems a degree worthy or not worthy. I think it has to tick off three boxes. One has to have a good salary. Two, there has to be uh, job opportunities available. And number three, it has to be interesting. And the last one is a little bit subjective, but the first two aren't. So let's talk about salary first. So to me, the salary is definitely worth it. If you look at engineering compared to other four year degree programs, it definitely has a higher average salary. I started out making 65 grand uh, in my first job pretty good. I think I saved around 50 grand or so in like two and a half years. Definitely could have paid off my loans had I been a little bit smarter. I think that the, you know, potential salary that you'll be making definitely compensates or I guess offsets the amount of time that you spend in school and the amount of loans that you racked up. It also depends on what discipline you take. Some disciplines, you know, will get paid more than others. The second important thing is that there has to be enough job opportunities. Engineering on average has a fairly low unemployment rate. Engineering is not going to be one of those one of those degrees that's going to be useless. There's always going to be a demand for engineers. Now, I, I will say that in my opinion, you should probably stick to one of the four major disciplines. That's mechanical, civil, chemical, and electrical. If you go super niche, like let's say you go into petroleum, which has a very high uh, salary, it also has the highest unemployment rate. Whereas if you take, say, a chemical degree and then you niche down later on, maybe you take a master's in petroleum, you can still do petroleum and you can do other chemical jobs that you, you're not able to do if you just have a petroleum degree. I would also definitely, definitely recommend getting an internship uh, during your schooling. Take the co-op program, guys. It's something I wish that I did. Uh, because you're, you're just so much more likely to get a job if you have already have experience coming out of school. And the last thing is <laughs> you have to be interested in engineering. You have to. You do not go into engineering if you're just looking for a short four-year degree that pays a lot. Because that's what a lot of people do. That's why engineering has a high drop already. When I took my first physics class, I was blown away. Okay, when I got introduced to calculus, I was like, I want more, I want more. <laughs> you have to have at least some level of interest. I loved my curriculum, I loved it. Not, not C++, I didn't like that. But most other courses, okay, statics, dynamics, uh, machines, you know, heat transfer, thermodynamics, fluid mechanics, aerodynamics, I love these courses. It sounds kind of cheesy, but if you have an interest in it, don't worry about it. A lot of the people I noticed that, you know, I quit engineering after two years, after three years, I didn't like it, wasn't what I expected. They got into it for the wrong reasons. I can almost guarantee you that they, they got into it for the money and then they're complaining about, oh, I, I just, just didn't enjoy it. But if you're genuinely interested in your coursework, you will enjoy doing it, you'll do better. And I promise you will find a job that does satisfy those interests. And let's just say that after all your schooling, after all, you, after you work for a few years, you're like, I don't like this career. You have the ability to put engineering on your resume. That is invaluable, my friend. Like having, that gives you so much credibility. That gives you so much credibility that if let's say you want to start a business with someone, they say, oh, this person was an engineer. Like you're, you're automatically, you automatically have that credibility. I know people that have switched careers. I also know people that have worked 30 years and retired and they're like, I wouldn't, I, I love my engineering career. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, guys, I, I wouldn't be too concerned. If you genuinely have an interest in engineering, then it is worth it. Go ahead and, you know, begin your degree, see what it's like. It's going to be a lot of work. Okay. It's a pretty intense program. Um, but it's not impossible. Okay. A dummy like me can get through it. Y'all can, y'all can do it too. So, so just to sum up the video, I do think that getting an engineering degree is worth it. If you have an interest in it, I think that the salary is worth it. Uh, I think that there's enough opportunities and it, it's a pretty interesting career. You will find jobs that satisfy those interests. I promise. So that's that. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to see more engineering content. And if you have any questions, of course, comments, just let me know down below. Until next time, keep studying, keep grinding and uh, love you. Peace.